The impact of the war in the Ukraine and the energy crisis really turned this uh, company upside down. I saw so much demand coming to, uh, to our teams. Yeah, we made decisions in the past that led to all sorts of troubles like scalability, maintainability. Of course, the customers, they were hurt the most in this crisis. And we wanted to solve that, but then you want to make sure that this time you do it right. And that's where we thought DDD could really help us. And now, the only part you're interested in is this instead of everything. This happened in your domain. What's the next thing? In 2022, Ascent serviced 2.5 million customers. After Russia's attack on Ukraine, the energy market changed overnight. Ascent responded by redefining itself as a tech company and, as part of that shift, adopted domain-driven design with the help of Marijn Hosenfeld and his team. Today, 52 software teams help keep Ascent the most customer-friendly market leader. The impact of the war in the Ukraine and the energy crisis really turned this uh, company upside down. We had traffic in just a split second, 10 times, 20 times more than we had before. And it stayed at that high level. Uh, and our IT architecture and, uh, was not ready for that. So we really blacked out. We were really at crisis. During that time, you really saw that technically things were really tightly coupled and also not scalable. So it was a turnaround and we needed to improve fast. We tried several things, but after a few days, we even had to implement a queuing line, which you normally see only with tickets when you want to buy a ticket for Coldplay or something. We really had a ticketing queue to enter our website, to enter our call center. Of course, the customers, they were hurt the most in this crisis. They had this massive energy bills and they were just crying customers on the, on the phone. So, and that was kind of a reality check, so. Yeah, the queue was introduced because we couldn't handle a peak load, but also the tight coupling resulted in a large fault domain or blast radius, if you will, so that if one thing fails, the whole landscape uh, goes down. The sentence, never waste a good crisis, was really uh, something uh, that was uh, really close to us uh, in that time. The crisis forced Ascent to change. But why turn to domain-driven design to make this transformation possible? How does DDD help teams in their daily work? And most importantly, what is DDD? To tackle this problem, uh, I think a lot of different uh, aspects were needed. Our technology was outdated, so we did uh, need to make that uh, transition technically. But I really think it was also in uh, the behavior, I think the, the the main change we needed to make is how can we make sure that these teams know what to do and can act upon it uh, more independently. Yeah, we made decisions in the past that led to all sorts of troubles like scalability, maintainability, and we wanted to solve that with a new tech stack and uh, hiring different types of engineers. But then you want to make sure that this time you do it right. You don't want to make the same mistake again. So uh, we thought like what sort of practices can help us do it right this time. Um, and that's where we thought DDD could really help us. Another reason is that, and we wanted to make sure that if we grow to so many teams that we can still keep up the pace and uh, stay fast in delivery. And uh, that loosely coupled architecture and then with domain driven design principles that we thought that would really help us. My name is Marijn Huizenveld and I help leadership teams at fast-growing organizations to accomplish more with the people that produce their software. Domain-driven design is a set of patterns, principles and practices that allow you to focus your efforts where they will yield you the most. So it's a way to figure out and discover collaboratively what problem you are trying to solve and then how you want to solve it. And then it offers a set of software design principles that allow you to build this stuff in software in a way where it's easy to change whenever the market changes or our understanding of it. I think what DDD really brought us is um, the way of modeling the business knowledge together with business and developers so that we came to this one language. And by that, we are able to understand what is it that business means and how complex is it for development to build? Everybody understands 
what's happening at any given moment in time. Uh, for me, actually, that makes so much sense. The first moment I realized, hey, this is indeed helping us was for me when we actually started onboarding people in the team that already started the domain-driven design track. So a common challenge in our domain was always that it was hard to scale up because of the lack of knowledge and the amount of knowledge that you would need to, to get in the team. And um, we had a new developer joining us and he was onboarded actually in one sprint and he knew the whole domain. And that was something we haven't experienced before. Does DDD actually make the work more fun? I am going to venture out and say yes. In one sentence is a great way to collaborate on software. So I, I really enjoy software development. I really enjoy writing code on screen, um, but I also really enjoy working with people. So having the event storming sessions, for example, is a great way to also interact with people. And you get to see all the different personalities and their views and their inputs. And it's such a great way to bring that back into your software, right? And to be able to build something that just works for everyone. Yeah. It also feels like you can touch it. If a shared language simplifies the business and reduces complexity, then the transition must have been easy. Or is that too optimistic? Personally, for me, the introduction of DDD was uh, quite a challenge because we were not 100% sure this would work. How was this for you? For me, the... The challenge was the, that people apply DDD as a goal in itself. In the end, we really want to achieve higher throughput, stability, happy people, and DDD is a means to that. And you should uh, think critically what works for you. I must say that I also was a bit hesitant at first. You can imagine being at a time with the whole energy crisis around us. Um, yeah, we could also feel that there was not much room, so we need to do it right now. And I think the fact that we made that clear and we all said, okay, let's go for it, that was really important because um, I think in the end, it's always a bit uh, uh, scary to start something new. So Ascent took a bold step by really including everyone when we're saying stakeholder collaboration. Um, and that is something that is not easy to do, but uh, People really showed up at difficult moments to make tough decisions together. And as a consequence, I think we have a better result. So I think what really helped that we built it already trust for two years and we really needed to tackle it together. Uh, and we invested also a lot in, in leadership and collaboration in the teams, right? So um, that helps uh, tackle a difficult situation to stay close with each other. Um, during crisis, but also during the build um, after. Well, for me, I realized that uh, DDD was going to at least be the right solution for Ascent. It was at this point where we had the DDD sessions where journey consultants from the business side and developers were in this one session and they were collaborating. And you saw kind of like this, this, this twinkle in their eyes and also like, okay, We've never actually really spoken to each other about our, our problem or our, our challenges. And now we're here together working on this, it was in an event storming session. And it was, was so nice to see. And after this session, you saw this collaboration, it was permanently improved. And we started in this big room, way bigger than this, like I think four or five times bigger. And we had a brown paper all over the room. and. What was really, what really got us going is that after six months, we had one full wall already implemented in a production. And I've never seen a software team in Ascent delivering at that speed. So for me, that experiment actually became a product that's now in a production and it's being used. So that's quite great. And what's really interesting about this is that Natalia's team actually had more impact than just implementing DDD because they also tried out a couple of new uh, software tools and what you're seeing right now is that actually that's being adopted and implemented ascent wide which is again in the spirit of becoming a tech company and wanting to innovate wanting to try new things and not being scared to fail it's also ascent giving you the freedom to yeah. just go try with it we will pilot it and if it's white good enough we're going yeah. to approve yeah, it through the whole company yeah. you can go through the formal process and get it as a standard which happened in your case yeah what I also recall is we had a leadership training on DDD uh, where also some people were pretty uh, skeptical, like in doubt whether this is going to be it. But then only 
like a few months later, yeah, one of the early teams uh, had some new milestone to meet. They had to build a new feature and that went so much faster than we were used to. So that kind of convinced everyone. And now it's really cool to see that other business partners uh, outside of me are really now promoting uh, going into DDD workshops. And that uh, really proves that this here to stay and it really helps us uh, achieving our goal. It wasn't always easy, but the results speak for themselves. With DDD, Ascent delivers faster, collaborates better, and work has become more fun. So what advice do Ascent's employees have for those starting their DDD journey? So you need to look at the total context in itself as well once in a while to make sure that you have it all. That you don't, that something doesn't slip somewhere and that it still makes sense overall. I'd recommend that you keep the goal in mind. The tricky thing with practices like DDD, just like with other practices like Scrum or if you will, like so many IT things, they become a goal in itself, a proxy for success. My advice to other companies trying to start with DDD would be to make sure there's support from all the departments that are starting. Uh, don't see it as a transition that's only be done by IT because the key success is really in having the buy-in of both the business and IT because in the end that's what it's all about to bring that together. So my advice would be to make sure you also start with it together and support each other in that. Uh... I think Ascent can really be proud of itself of how it has involved people uh, from various disciplines to really participate and um, undertake these efforts, right? And by doing that, uh, people at various levels have shown a tremendous amount of trust uh, in their own leadership, but also in this new way of working that they were not necessarily familiar with. It has the potential to be a great experience. So yeah, live it. <laughs>